Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our 2010 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Rod Hedlund. His presenter is Mr. Roger Clark. Rod Hedlund wrestled at Castro Valley High School where he was a member of two section championship teams. At Chico State College, he was a far western conference runner-up and division two nationals qualifier. Rod began his coaching career in 1971 at Orland High School. He spent one year as a volunteer assistant at Paradise High School, then coached six years at Georgetown School, which is third through eighth graders. Then in 1978, he started the wrestling program at Golden Sierra High School, where he had his first senior class in 1981. Rod had been the head coach for 25 years. He was also the school's first head football coach and coached varsity, JV, and junior high football for 30 years. With a school of only 500 students, Rod's high school wrestling teams won the Golden Empire League Championships 11 times, including nine consecutively from 1994 through 2002. In addition, they were league runner-ups six times, top five of the subsection 10 times, and had a league record of 65 wins and three losses from 1990 through 2002. Moreover, Rod's teams qualified 15 consecutive years for the section dual meet championships. In 1998, Rod's teams won the San Joaquin dual meet division three title, and Rod was named Sacramento B Metro Coach of the Year. Rod had also been named Conference Coach of the Year nine times. Rod was one of the founders of the Sacramento Area Wrestling Association, and along with Bill Green, coached two youth all-star teams to a second place finish and a team championship in the USA Wrestling State Tournament. Rod was a Golden Empire League wrestling representative for 15 years and an instrumental in the information of the small school section for wrestling in the Sac Joaquin section. Rod has been the tournament director of the prestigious Northern California Tournament of Champions Junior High Tournament for the past 38 years, as well as tournament director of several high school league tournaments, three subsection tournaments, and two community college Northern Regional Tournaments. After retiring from coaching in 2002, the Golden Sierra High School Gymnasium was named in his honor. Since 2002, Rod continues to work as a student foreign exchange coordinator for Golden Sierra. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2010 California Hall of Fame, Mr. Rod Hedlund. I'm a little disappointed here in Lynn Dyke. I thought we were promised to have a teleprompter, Lynn, and I don't see it. I'm sure most of us didn't uh, ever imagine becoming Hall of Fame members when we first started our careers as wrestlers or coaches. For sure I didn't, and to say the least, it's an incredibly humbling and prestigious honor, and I'm truly grateful for receiving it. So before I go any further, I think I need to fr thank my friend Monty Muller for nominating me and for the Hall of Fame committee for considering me worthy of this honor. I've always said that I've lived a charmed life filled with a lot of luck and fortunate circumstances. And I was fortunate to have two loving and supportive parents. And even luckier that they're able to be here with me tonight, along with several other family and friends, to help me celebrate this honor. I'm lucky also that my dad decided to build a house in Castro Valley back in 1950, and I became part of the wrestling tradition at Castro Valley High School when I went out for wrestling my sophomore year. I only discovered wrestling because as a fr in the freshman PE class, I took it and it saved my athletic career because I was only five foot tall and 95 pounds. A couple of weeks ago, I had the pleasure of visiting my high school coach, Bob Haywood, and I was able to thank him for starting me in wrestling some 47 years ago. I, I'm not sure that he uh, remembered me, but I sure did remember him. In my junior year, I met Suzanne Biscacci, another stroke of luck. And as you've learned tonight, she is an incredible woman, and she's the most important person in my life. And she certainly is worthy of her induction into this Hall of Fame. My college coach is here tonight at Chico State was Dick Trimmer. I loved the way that he coached and related to the team. And I thought of his style many times when I was during my career, and I tried to emulate it. More good fortune. I was assigned for student teaching to Paradise High School, and my master teacher was Dennis Helms. When we met in 1971, Denny wasn't even the head coach at Paradise, and now here he is tonight getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. Denny knew the balance of kindness, discipline, and respect 
that it takes to be a great teacher and coach, and he was a great role model for me. Although I'm very proud of my wins and championships in my wrestling career and coaching career, it'd be hard pressed to look at those numbers and think they're Hall of Fame. They pale in comparison to most everyone else who's been selected. So looking back, I have to say, what did I do to deserve this honor? Well, first of all, I coached for a long time, 30 years at least. Longevity has its rewards. Surviving that many years of coaching kids, running tournaments, and enduring awful referee judgment calls <laughs> counts for a lot in the minds of the Hall of Fame committee because most of them are former officials. I've said for many years, I, I really respect the referees because they do have the toughest job, and especially when I was in one of the corners. Because you see, I wasn't the calmest guy in the gym. And it may surprise some people that sometimes I would voice my opinion about it. Secondly, I excelled in surrounding myself with dedicated and talented people who made me look good when I was running the Northern California Tournament of Champions or regional, league, state, whatever, tournaments. For 38 years, they were by me. I've always, it was always about getting good people to help you, especially your wife, because as we all know, nobody can do it alone. I've had the most loyal assistants, parent helpers, colleagues, community members, former wrestlers, and yes, even referees, stand by me and work year after year to help me. Lastly, I made a ton of friends in the wrestling circuit. And after all, wrestling is, as someone said before, all about the people. I love coaching at tournaments where I could kid around with the coaches and the officials and yak. And everyone knows I can yak with the best of them. There was nothing that I liked better on a, a Saturday in January than to spend 12 hours in a hot, smelly gym. Sad but true. When I first started coaching, Charlie Lee, Leroy Evans, Larry Nelson, Bill Flake, Richard Fox, all Hall of Fame members, they were the top coaches in the section, and I admired them. Around that time, Bill Grant started his Monterey Coaches Clinic, and I learned an incredible amount from the people he brought in, especially John Azevedo. John was the kind of class coach I wanted to be like, and when we started using his techniques and drills, we started to win championships. The problem with that is, is that if you measure your successes and you're with, with wins and losses, you're going to be severely disappointed. There's no sport more humbling than wrestling, unless it's golf. I wanted my wrestlers to focus on the skills and behaviors and attitude that it takes to be successful in life. Oddly enough, they're the same skills it takes to be an accomplished and successful wrestler. Work ethic, commitment, discipline, perseverance. <laughs> Is that it? All of those. All of those are fancy words, but if you're a wrestler, you know they dictate and tell exactly who you are as a person. So, don't get me long, wrong, I love winning, but my greatest thrill was watching young people learn and grow. And my greatest accomplishment was when some of them would come back and say I made a difference in, them lives, in their lives. I know it did for my two sons, Drew and Blake, and I'm very proud of the men they've become. And finally, my friend Roger Clough, who's been my right-hand man and my confidant for many years. I love him like a brother. And with that, I once again would like to give a huge thank you for this incredibly uh, amazing honor. Thank you very much.